using VMware app volumes with Citrix Zen Desktop 7.9. Welcome everyone, my name is Faisal and in this video I will demonstrate to you VMware app volumes aka cloud volumes and I will demonstrate that how well VMware app volumes mingles or works with Citrix Zen Desktop 7.x could be 7.9 or it could be the latest 7.12 13 VMware app volumes um, it's some sort of have some sort of similarity like Citrix Zen Desktop app disks if you remember my previous video I in that I demonstrated to you uh, Citrix Zen Desktop app disks feature, right? Where there is a disk created and that disk will be associated to virtual desktop. The applications will not be a part of golden image. It's sort of a similar concept. On the other hand, it's a little bit more versatile in a way. In a way that, um, for example, App disks works only with the random type of machine catalog with with data discard. Yeah, like caching should be disabled on those machine catalog. On the other hand, for VMware app volumes, you can work with random machine catalog as well as with static machine catalogs. You can use with even the type of I mean and any delivery type of delivery groups of course whether it's static or dynamic and you can use even Citrix personal V disks also along with VMware app volumes another good thing is the user doesn't have to log off log or log back in or restart the virtual desktop environment to get the application it, user desktop can be refreshed in real time while the user is logged in and you can get those applications. I will demonstrate everything to you and then it will be more clear. So VMware App Volumes works with, of course, VMware vSphere. You can use, and I would say here, it would be better if I add Horizon View. VMware App Solium works with VMware vSphere environment. And this is the important thing you need to understand. App volumes require VMware vSphere infrastructure. It requires vCenter. It requires ESXi. It doesn't work with Citrix Zen Desktop Hypervisor. Oh, sorry, it doesn't work with Citrix Zen Server Hypervisor. Or it doesn't work with Microsoft Hyper-V or System Center. Uh, you know, you need to have VMware vSphere virtual infrastructure. App volumes, as far as the app volumes is concerned, yes, you they can complement Horizon View environment. You can publish applications in Horizon View environment. You can publish applications in Citrix Zen Desktop. Or Citrix Zen App Environment or Microsoft Remote Desktop Session Host Environment. When you use app volumes, you create app stacks, which are read only containers, which contains the application that you install. App stacks are nothing but a VMDK, which contains all your application that you install, but they are read only. Means if a user install in any other application by himself in addition to those applications which are assigned to app stack that application will not be written to that app stack the mdk it will be written somewhere else it could be a temporary thing that might get away in case you are using random or in case you are using static assignments or writable volumes which is another thing from app volumes writable volumes as the name says they are the writable VMDK. So those changes 
or those new applications the user will install by himself will be written to writable volumes. If you are on, if you are not using writable volumes, you are using, let's say, Citrix Personal V Disk. Then, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Then those changes will be will part of that. But app stack, they are just real. Okay. These are the major components of app volumes, app volumes administrator, the one someone who can manage and configure app volume, app volume manager. It has two software components, app volume manager, which is a which is a console that you connect to and configure app volumes. Uh, <coughs> You configure app volume uh, using app volume manager. It's a call, it's a graph GUI based console and app volume agent, which is a software that you install in your golden image, which has only Windows, plain vanilla Windows installation, as well as you install on a target virtual machine. Target virtual machine is the virtual machine on which you will. Uh, by the, with the help of that, you will provision applications like VMware Thinan or Citrix Profiler or AppV. You know, you install AppV client or VMware Thin app on a, on a virtual machine. Take us, right? It, it, it do a pre scan and then you install application, right? And then the post scan, so, right? So, so, so Basically, that's that's the scenario. App volume agent to install in your golden image, as well as on the virtual machine. On with the help of you will be provisioning your applications with. And app volume requires SQL Server database. In my lab environment, I'm using SQL Express. Works fine. App stack, as I mentioned, they are readable containers, which contains your uh, applications that you provision to users or deliver to users through app stacks which are basically VMDK files and writable volume it's another type of VMDK file but it's writable it allows users to install their own applications provisioning desktop as I mentioned, the app volume agent you will be installing in the golden image, as well as you will be installing into a VM on which you will be installing applications. So, when you will install an application, you will enable the provisioning. So, app volume agent will record and monitor all the activity inside the VM, like which application are you installing. Once you finish installing applications, you stop provisioning. So this way, the app volumes knows, okay, these are the applications that you want to install or that you want to publish. So those applications become part of that VMDK. And a VMware vCenter that I mentioned. Again, app volumes requires VMware vSphere infrastructure or VMware vCenter or ASXi. It doesn't work with Hyper-V uh, hypervisor. It doesn't work with Zen server hypervisor. You need to have VMware vCenter. So I think this is pretty much it and now it's time for some live action, some demonstration. So let's get it on.